There is something really innovative and different happening where technology and teaching are starting to come together. In this new educational technology world, the University of Central Florida, along with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and our Teach Live computer simulated classroom partner sites have a lot of technology to bring to teacher education. We know what high quality teacher practice looks like. We also know technology. The University of Central Florida is a leader in educational technology for teachers. We have Teach Live, the only computer simulated classroom of its kind in the world, and we use it to help teachers and teacher candidates across the country improve their practice every day. What a teacher sees in the simulated classroom while teaching a lesson is a screen filled with animated students with distinct personalities. The avatar students represent typical students in an urban American middle school. Teachers can rehearse high leverage practices with our virtual kids and improve their teaching. So tell me, do you agree with what Ed said or would you add anything to it? Seems like that there, if there's going to be a storm, mm -hmm. then, you know, I think that it'd be cool just to have a big hurricane party. A hurricane party. Okay, so since we're talking about states of matter, what kind of matter are you going to have at your hurricane party? Well, I, I'm going to have like, like some like dry ice and stuff and make a punch with dry ice. Oh, dry ice. So what do you think? Solid liquid or gas? Yeah. It's like solid because you can pick it up like you are saying. Kevin, what do you think about a real ice ice cube? What would be the state so matter might be involved in an ice cube? So Sean was thinking of one that wasn't dry ice. What would you think? Are the ice, cube, ice cube, that's like, that's classic. Okay. You know, right? It's like classic because it's like, you know, uh, liquid, but then you freeze it and it's, and becomes solid, but then when it melts, it becomes liquid again. So for your little quiz, I'd like for you to, you can either write it down, take out your cell phone, what have you, and I'd like for you to give me an example of a solid liquid and a gas. And CJ, you can use your phone for this activity. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll text it to you. That would be, actually, you're going to go into my soccer team and put in the number 11978, and you can answer the quiz online if that's what you choose to do. Oh, sweet. All right, thanks, class. Think about a value for x that makes that equation false. What can we replace with that variable x that would make that equation not true? Which? That makes it false? Yeah, that would make it not true, Not Sean. true, okay. False, um, not true. Okay, um, can we just pick any, we can pick any number we want? Well, if you want to take that technique, yeah, give it a try. Pick any number you want. I'm picking zero, because I think zero, that's the best. Oh. Zero is a good one. Actually, I like zero. Why Why do you pick zero? Just because I like multiplying by zero because it's super easy. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do those calculations. What calculations do you have then, Cindy? If you stick a zero well, on there. Well, because zero works because, like, you know, it's, it'd be like, you know, zero times four is zero, right? And then plus one is just one, and then that doesn't equal three, so boom. It's exactly. wrong. Exactly. Excellent. Okay. Hey, guys. I'm so glad you're back from lunch. I hope it was delicious. Um, we are going to jump right into science, so I need you all to get all the materials that we're going to need. As you know, it's on the board here like it is every day. So if there's anything that you have on your desk that we won't need for science, please go ahead and put that away. Who can tell me what matter is? Yes, Ed. Thank you so much for raising your hand. Well, matters, that's like, that's like when you have molecules that go together. You know, it can be anything. It can, you know, be a table or, you know, anything. It's solid or liquid or gas. Oh, thank air. you. Oh, it could be air, it's everything. Sean, so I remember you saying you had a story to tell us. Do you want to go ahead with that? Oh my like, okay, so like we're talking about ch batteries changing states, and it's so cool because our freezer broke, and my mom was really upset. And um, but I was saying, mom, it's kind of cool because we're watching like the the ice turning to liquid, so it's changing matter. And she laughed so hard. She's like, you are just such a science brain. <laughs> oh, Sean, that's a wonderful story. I'm so glad you were talking about what we learned in class to your mom. That's great. Well, we're all done and as you know the objective of your lesson was to go in with a STEM activity and engage the students and so we have this Teach Ours video coding feedback tool and I'd like you to take a look at the behaviors that we coded, the high leverage practices that we were looking at. So we were looking at questioning, wait time, and feedback and as you can see you had three instances of specific feedback. So I'd like you to think about that in terms of your objective for the lesson. What could you do differently next time? So we're all done with your um, reflection session, and I think you'll be pretty excited to know that the next session that we do is with Sean's mom, Jeanette. Thank you so much for coming in today. 
Oh, thanks so much for having me. I just, I'm really eager to hear how Sean's doing. Absolutely. I do want to talk with you about his progress here in science. Well, he just loves your class. He thinks you're a wonderful teacher. I mean, I'm sure you get that sense from him. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I, it's good hearing that. Bye.